go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going into Act 9.1.2, uh, Welcome Wagon. And if you saw the last video for 9.1.1, you remember that I had uh, the... Uh, settings, I guess, screen up uh, for air server, and I didn't catch it in time, but it's gone now. All right, so this path here, the one that starts with King Groot is the one that I think is the easiest. You can see the nodes here. Basically, you want to bring in your mystic champions. I like to play the nodes. Okay, so when it says that mystics get an advantage, that's what I'm going to bring in. Now, I love Claire. And Claire can do this path, okay? However, I wanted to showcase someone else. And this was another champion that I liked that I actually took up as a seven star to rank two. And that is Deathless Guillotine. She's actually very good and fun. I don't know why. Maybe it's because she has that sword and I love swords, but she's awesome. Now, you see me boosting up here. I recommend that you guys boost up because in Act 9, the health pools are considerably larger than they were in Act 8. So if you don't want this to be a slog, then you want to do that. All right, so about the nodes, you want to be unstoppable when you do your damage, okay? And you will go unstoppable when you knock them down. However, when you knock them down, you have a small time, look at the nodes, uh, to, I think, fire off your special. So a lot of it is just timing. Like, see, I knocked him down here, and I'm unstoppable, okay? And we're going in. I fired my striker. Cool, cool. Look at that. And just like that, that's what you have to do for the uh, node. There's another node in there that I don't really like, but it's all good. All right, but just look, look, at, look at Guillotine. Just look at her. She is going. And I'm happy to have her awaken, too. Now, OG Guillotine might not have been able to do this because, as you know, King Groot is immune to the uh, bleed. But Guillotine Deathless version does not do bleed damage. She does degen. And not a lot of champions are immune to the degen. All right, so here we go. And I'm trying to make sure I time it so that if I knock them down, I can, you know, go unstoppable, okay? And then fire my special. Look at that damage, okay? And that's pretty much what you want to do. Now, I am running the um, Recoil Masteries, Double Edge, Liquid Courage, uh, and they help a lot. Because otherwise, you're going to be doing these fights for a long time. Now, she is not the fastest, okay? Um, but I wanted to showcase her because I don't get a chance to use her uh, very often. And I wanted to show that she is perfectly capable of doing uh, these fights. Now, because I'm running the uh, Ouchie Masteries, uh, I'm taking a lot of damage every time I do my um, specials. But she also, just like OG Guillotine, has a chance to heal. I believe it's on a crit. 
All right, so here we go. And I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing. You'll see also that I have uh, Furies. And if you're already unstoppable, when you knock them down, you'll get that Fury. And it does not go away. Okay, as you can see. Now I'm kind of stuck because he's unblockable. And I need to knock him down. All right, what to do? What to do? Try to get him to fight. There you go. And then I do my striker. All right, knock him down, bait that out, and then try to get him to dash at me, but he didn't. So I ended up just firing it off, but thankfully I was unstoppable. All right, so that kind of uh, saved me from a lot of damage. And here we go again, bam, look at that, 73K crit to end that fight. And her health doesn't look that bad. Look at that. 69% health, I'll take it. And keep in mind, and you can uh, go back and look, but most of that damage was from recoil. Every special um, was like 5% damage. So if you're not running recoil, boost up and you can use her and go to town. All right, so. Uh, keep watching her health, by the way, because uh, I don't know if it's a chance based on her um, SIG level, but you will see our health jump up. Okay. Look at that. Mm. And you see how I lost health right there? But keep watching her health. Look at that. You saw it jump up just now? Jumped up a little bit um, because she healed and... Let's keep going, let's keep going. Keep watching that health. All right, knock her down. Okay, here we go, fire that special off. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful. And it don't matter really what special. Uh, rogue specials are easy to evade. All right, here we go. Uh, also, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the striker, if you watch the green, icon here see it going down okay uh and my health just went up a little bit you want to fire your striker off and watch what that green timer does when uh, i fire my striker off look at that goes back to 100 you want to bring a striker in or else you're gonna have a, a harder time than you need to uh, if I remember correctly, one of the nodes will explain why. Um, I think your block proficiency goes down or something like that. Look at my health. Do you remember where we ended the last fight? 69%. I ended this fight with 84%. I like her. I like her. Okay. So keep in mind that if I wasn't running uh, recoil, I probably would have ended up with uh, full health at that. But the fight would have also taken longer, and I'd rather not deal with that. All right, so now we got Venom Pool here, and it's going to be the same thing that we're doing. I like pushing him to his special two. Now, when you don't let him do his little dance, he's going to get that power gain, which is fine if you want to keep pushing him to specials which is fine with me because that's what I want to do. Okay, look at that. Knocked him down, come on. Here we go, special, bam. Now we need him to fire that special off. There you go. This time I let him go ahead and dance it out. Um, he didn't get the power gain. He got, you know, the um, energized and, and all that. And see, this time I just like, ah, whatever. <laughs> you know, come on, let's go. We ain't waiting for your dance. All right, nice heavy. There we go. And we're gonna fire that special off. And now we have a nice uh, full spirit bar. We're gonna fire our striker to make sure that doesn't get down to zero or else we'll have a bad day. And it's just wash, rinse, and repeat. So as you can see, guillotine, um, deathless is awesome. Look at that, health just jumped back up again. I tell you, she is awesome. I, I'm, I'm gonna look, actually, let me let me see. 
while we're we're fighting here, I may as well uh, look that up. See if um, it's based on her signature ability level. All right. Yep. He's about to go down. Boom. Knockout. All right. Let's see. Champion info. She is at 20. Yep. So it looks like at 20, the chance to steal is fixed. So she has a 10% chance to steal. How much she steals is what the signature level will affect. So I would still like to get her sig level up if I can. Okay. Um, can you imagine? You know, yeah, it's 10%, but when it does happen, and I'm not sure, I'll have to check on that, what the max is. But right now, I'm at the minimum. All right. Ugh. He went unblockable. And, of course, he hit me with that special, which I can't evade. Now, at this point, I'm like, come on. Come on. Let me get it. Let me get a, um, okay, see right there? It, it jumped a little bit, but it's not that much. And I'm like, okay, we're just gonna try and get as much damage as we can here because I already see how this fight is gonna go. Okay. And so here, just trying to get him to fire that off. All right. Trying to get some uh, more health, but that's not happening. So I push him to a special two. Um, his special two is a little bit easier to um, evade. At least that last part right there. But look, we're, we're, we're going. But he's 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 close. You see, like, I did that because I was hoping to, to get it down. Oh, now, right there. Do not ask me what just happened. You saw me evade the last part before. Why did my character jump forward? I didn't jump forward. I'm trying to evade the last part and then go in and, and wreck. No. All right, whatever. Um, things like that, I'm, I'm hoping that they really address. All right, there we go. He's at 1%. Bam, knockout. Boy Juggy coming in. Now, Juggernaut is awesome for this path because as you may know or may not know, Juggernaut, he will go unstoppable often. And so he's going to be doing full damage. And you don't even have to knock them down to get the unstoppable. You know, any of the mystics can really work. Now, when I see Vision Arcus, I always think of Claire because she can nullify. And because she nullifies, I don't have to deal with that crazy power game. Okay, so here we go. Here's the power gain. I was looking up there at the power gain when he fired that special off in my face. And there we go. We nullified it. Cool, cool. All right. Not a big deal. All right. Nullify it. Try and get him to fire his special off. Come on. All right. There we go. Because don't nobody want to deal with that special uh, two. Oh, unblockable. But here she goes. Oh, oh, oh. And just that widow's touch. Oh. And then laughs at him. Oh. Did y'all see that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did dex his special too. That was unblockable. Yes, I did. I don't know if I did it all the way though. Because <laughs> I think I was uh, unstoppable uh, when it happened. But I did dex a lot of it. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I wasn't trying at that time. All right. Here we go. Come on. Fire it up. Fire it up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, buddy. This ain't going quite as good. Okay. Arr! 
Now, Claire has the ability to get her health back. Don't ask me why I just started firing off special ones. Okay. Now, I switched over into Curse of Blood. That's where she can get her health back. She just needs to fire that special two off. And uh, based on the damage she does. And I have three Furies. Look at that health. Give back what you stole. Boom. Boom. And she's back from out of space. And I believe he had a silly look on his face. Anyway, look at this. Now I'm going back to her damage mode. Oh, that time I just uh, control his power. I think I, I may have thought that I was uh, in the other mode, but it's okay. He went down anyway. Uh, normally, I would have gone into her damage mode and um, taken him out. And I probably thought that's what I was doing. But a 2 minute, 22 second fight. Not the fastest, let me tell you. All right, now guys, this fight here, just prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Because she is straight annoying. Now, I went in with Doom. Doom is a beast, but for some reason, I don't usually have good luck with Doom. Now, what you want to do with her is you want to knock her down as soon as possible. Do not try to attack her or else that Digicloak is going to be active. Knock her down and it'll go on cooldown. Now, do you see where my health just went? That's because of the node. I knocked her down, did not fire, um, I think, a special, and so I took uh, burst damage. Okay? So you got to be careful uh, with that. So I messed up, and I'm like, okay, here, I'm trying to get to a special three. All right. And then I want to try to do the doom cycle. So I'm like, yeah, we got her, even though I messed up before with, with um, knocking her down and not doing what I was supposed to do. So we should be good here, right? All right, doom cycle, boom, boom, doom, 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 boom, boom, hit her, doom, 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 doom. All right, knocked her down. All right, come on, get back to that special three. What you waiting for? She's just sitting there. What in the world? What she doing? Why she just sat there looking at me like that? I don't know, but that's what the AI likes to do. And here we go again. Now, my Doom is Ascended, but he's not rank 5. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Hit him with it. Rah. But she's unblockable now. Problem. Problem. Okay, use my Striker. There we go. Knock her down. Get that Digi Cloak out of there. Okay, here we go. Hit him with it. Oh, no. Yeah, messed up. Doom could have done this fight as you saw but i messed up just messed up so if you have a doom he can do it so i'm like all right well messed up my bad here comes juggernaut and as i said the first thing you want to do knock her down get that digi cloak on cooldown okay and then you just want to go ham. Now, see, it's off cooldown right now, right? So, one, two, three. Boom. Okay. When she has a special two, dash back three times. One, two, three. See how I did that? Bam. And you want to knock her down. Now, that time, I think I messed up. But you want to make sure you knock her down. Put the Digicloak on cooldown. And it's not that bad. But if you don't know how to fight her, you're going to be dealing with that Digicloak all the time. And it's going to be a mess. And you're going to have a very, very bad day. Okay, so just remember that. Now, I still have Claire who could have done it as well. Um, Wiccan could have done it also. Um, but it's all good. All right, so now we come to the boss. And... At this point in time, I've already done uh, all of the uh, bosses, but the key here is to choose 
a good counter for whatever boss you are going to go in with. All right. Now, I swapped out Claire because I know I'm not going to use Claire for this fight. Now, um, <clears throat> Gladiator <coughs> is a great option for this fight. So look at the buffs here. All right. We got prowess. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Knock down for a second. Strike into the block. You don't want to um, let her do that. Immune to shock. And now that's funny because this particular storm is not normally immune to shock. OG storm is. That one's not. Okay. So I said, you know what? Yeah. Let's go on with Juggy. Let's see how Juggy do it. Yeah, he's got 35% uh, health, but that's okay. Because he's the juggernaut. Teach me how to juggy. Teach, you, teach me how to juggy. Look at that. Oh, did she hit me? Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, all right. 96%. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, she's got 95%. That's cool. Yep, yep. Come on. Let's go. Down to 93. Oh, okay. Juggy, what can you do? Oh, come on, bait that out. Bait that out, Juggy. Come on, Juggy. Oh, yeah. We ain't worried about it. Ooh. Special three coming to you live. Oh, oh, 85%? Are you down 85%? Hmm. Oh, and you notice she hit me into my block just now and gained a lot of power. So be careful about that. All right. Look at all that glancing. Pain. Pain, right? Oh, let's see. Juggy at 29% though. Hmm. I don't know. May not be able to do it. Oh, wait, what, what, what's that? He's at 30% health now. Huh. Interesting. Do you have willpower? I do. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. She's down to 20, I mean, uh, 72%. Hmm. Even with all that, oh, 70%? Oh, my goodness. This is going bad for her. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ah, oh, ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those critties. Oh, those critties. Uh-oh. Come on. Now, see, the only thing stopping me or slowing me down, rather, is that I don't want to push her to a special two. Or else I would have gone hardcore, gone in, and just wrecked. All right? Boom, boom, boom. See, and that doesn't do as much as it could because I'm having to slow down and, you know, stop before she gets to a special uh, two. Yeah, see, my unstoppables go away by the time. But her prowess, we don't want to get hit by her special uh, with all that prowess up. All right? Look at that. He's down to 23% health. Juggy, can you do it? Mm, her, health, her health is looking mighty low. Look at this. She's at 35% health. Do you remember how we started the fight? We were at 35% health. Oh, oh, now she's got 33. Ooh, mm. teach me how to juggy. Come on, one, two, three. Get in there, juggy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. 31%. Ooh, caught her coming in. Uh-oh, now I, I I think I remember this one. I think I pushed it to a special two at this point. Nope, I didn't. Woo, good. All right, here we go. Man, our health is looking kind of similar, ain't it? Come on. Yeah, buddy. Keep in mind, Gladiator is definitely a better option. But this is Juggernaut. Ooh, he's down to 28% health. But look at her. She's down to 15% health. Going in there, Juggernaut. Hit her with it. Oh, oh. See, this time he had some unstoppables. Uh, Woo. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead, Juggy. Go ahead. 1%. And she's down. Look at that. Teach me how to Juggy indeed. Woo. Juggernaut's a beast. All right. That is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. You probably thought you were going to see Gladiator, but you got to see Juggernaut. Take care.
And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.